what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today in this video we are going to talk about overall stock market but before we dive into this video please hit that thumbs up button that is greatly appreciated and that really helps out with YouTube algorithm and if you want to support the channel get my daily trade ideas my swing trade ideas three days of live trading live in my discord definitely check out the patreon i'll leave a link down below in the description and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and now let's get right into it guys dow is up 0.04 percent nasdaq was down over one percent and now only down 0.25 percent huge recovery here on nasdaq s p 500 same thing it was down close to one percent and now absolutely flat on the day but look at right here guys small caps russell 2000 up on the day 1.12 percent now also here in this groups on top we got basic materials energy consumer defensive financial industrials communication services on bottom lagging technology utilities real estate healthcare and for the week energy on top basic materials and utilities now stock market map nvidia was down big time today this thing was down i think uh six seven percent and we played nvidia today and this one again nvidia stock paid now apple stock was uh down on the day also and look at this play that i took on uh apple here guys i mean exactly came down here and 180 calls definitely paid today here on apple and uh this is where i share my uh trade ideas for my patreons and I do share some of those ideas right here on my X account. So if you're on there, you can give me a follow right here. But uh, Apple was definitely a nice trade in the morning. Now, Amazon down on the day 0.81%. Tesla slightly up on the day. We got big earnings coming on Tesla tomorrow night and Netflix tomorrow night. Meta up on the day 0.89%. Energy again, guys, up on the day. Pretty much the whole sector up on the day green. Uh, Google stock up on the day 0.36% and AMD also down Intel and uh, you got Microsoft down on the day 0.17%. So before we talk about anything here on SPY, let's have a look at uh, some of these candlesticks on this daily chart. And look at this guys, we got a higher low at least up until now. It's holding so that is bullish in the short term. We also got a higher low into a higher high breakout today but unfortunately it's not holding that breakout i mean look at these candles right here this one this one and this one all below 438 and what we got today 438.14 almost getting up to this gap and filling this gap right here on top now again it's holding right here above uh, especially five day moving average on this daily chart 435 i would say right here now, if that gives up, definitely watch out for this low down here from today, 432 and some change. And if that gives up, definitely coming down to 430. But as of right now, as long as we're above 430, higher low, holding so far, and we're just waiting to see a breakout. And possibly, you know, that breakout will come soon. If this gap actually get closed on SPY and SPY can hold above 50 day moving average right here, this red line, and that is around 439. That's going to open that door all the way up to 443. And you guys already know it. That's a big resistance on the weekly chart, uh, 442, 443. So at some point we could see that, you know, SPY going all the way up to 443. So I want to show you guys something else here on SPY that I'm noticing. It's getting a Bollinger Band squeeze. A lower one actually moving higher and the upper one coming down right here. So I don't see much of an upside. There could be a lot of chop here on SPY in next couple of weeks right here until we see a big breakout to the upside or a breakdown to the downside. But so far, things are looking good for the bulls. Again, higher low holding. And uh, today already breaking out and making a new high right here from last uh, four or five candles right here. So 438.14 was really good. Now it needs to actually hold 439 and possibly can fill this gap right here and then hold 439. That would be more bullish. 
for a move all the way up to 443. On a pullback, you want to watch 435 right here around 432 and then 430. And if that gives up, could be coming all the way down here at around 428. So if you're not a Patreon member, you're not going to know exactly what I'm saying. But this morning, when Triple Q came down here close to 364, 365, I called it out live in my Discord that, you know, I'm already on Apple and NVIDIA. But if you want to get in and you missed Apple and NVIDIA, you can get in right here on Triple Q. And if you took that trade and you had a nice, you know, 20% uh, stop, you made a ton of money here on Triple Q because look at this move from 363, 364, ran all the way up to almost 370. So huge, huge move on Triple Q. And now again, I mean, look at this uh, bounce off of this uh, 13 SMA on this daily chart, 364. And now it's trading above uh, 50 day moving average right here, 366.81. So that is looking bullish in the short term. Now, if you look at my uh, screen right here, 368.81 will be a resistant to watch and then above right here around 373. Now, 366.81 will be a support and if that gives up, we have support down here, 364, 362.20, 20 day moving average right here and then 360. On Dow Jones, absolutely flat on the day, and I'm still holding some runners. Uh, those are not going to expire anytime soon. Uh, I took profit at 336, and I'm letting my runners run on Dow Jones right here. 336 calls, guys. I mean, today went up to 341.52. So we caught pretty much a 10 to $12 move on uh, Dow Jones right here. And uh, there could be more upside. So that is why I'm just waiting and riding it possibly up to 345-ish right here. And that could be the next stop. Once we break above 340, Dow Jones heading higher to this gap, uh, close to 345. To the downside is holding right here on a pullback, 338.17 right here. And just below that, we also have support 20 day moving average, 336. And then all the way down here again, we got support 13 day moving average right here. 335 and only if that gives up you're going to see a dump off all the way down to 330 but i think dia looking strong than uh, any other indices right now and look at this uh big bounce on dia from uh what was it 328 all the way up to 342 and there could be you know more upside on dia once we cross above 340 and that can hold as a support on DIA. The next stop, definitely close to uh, 345, right up here. On small caps, IWM up 1.12%, massive rally on increasing volume today, all the way up to 176 plus. And now it's holding white line 20 SMA on this daily chart as a support right here at 174.60. As long as IWM above 174.60, the next stop 178 and then the gap above just under 180. Now, if you're on my Discord, uh, you will know that when this thing was down here, you know, I posted a chart uh, saying that this could be a double bottom right here. And if this plays out, this thing going all the way up to at least 190. And uh, we could be on our way to 190, but you know that, you know, nothing goes up in a straight line. And know uh, this thing will pull back and then possibly at some point we'll see IWM closing this gap just below 180. And once we get that, definitely, you know, that's going to be even more bullish for the small caps. As of right now for tomorrow, you want to watch right here, 174.60, 173.32. And if that gives up, it's coming back down to 170. Now above right here, 174.60, the next stop definitely all the way up here at 178 and then the gap above just under 180. On VIX, nothing big, but it's up on the day. It was up even more above 18 bucks. And now it's holding just under 118, holding five day moving average right here, 17.44. And soon as that gives up, I mean, something big is coming, guys. And you cannot 
predict what's coming because look at this even VIX right here Bollinger Bands are squeezing top one right here on top it's coming down and look at the lower one going up so that means what a lot of chop and then you know a big breakout or a huge breakdown on VIX also possible so you got to be careful in this market whenever you see a pattern like this that means one thing, a lot of chop and then a breakout or a breakdown. It could be a breakout on VIX or, you know, uh, maybe S&P 500 or we could see a breakdown on VIX and a breakout on S&P 500. So on VIX, you want to watch 17.44 and then the support at 16. Above 18, watch out for the resistance at 20. And so far, I mean, this thing not getting above 20. If this thing somehow breaks 20, that's going to be your signal to get out and then maybe buy back at a later time because market will come down if this thing gets above 20 and uh, gets that breakout. That means holding above 20 for multiple days. You could see VIX going up to at least 23 or even higher. So you got to be careful trading in this environment right now. And you guys saw that what happened today, lots of volatility in the market. We saw a gap down, but then what happened? Dip buyers came in and bought up the dip. Uh, market went green and now slightly down to flat on the day. So you got to be careful in this market, especially when the market is trading like this. So when you look at this chart right here, you will find something strange. And I think something is about to happen because there is no way you got TNX up almost 3% where you know uh, NASDAQ completely recovering and going green on the day and now flat on the day. S&P 500, same thing. But look at this, we saw a massive gap up on TNX and it's holding guys. I mean, pretty much we got, uh, you know, got up to this high that we got just a couple days ago. And in just a matter of what, three days, but market, not feeling the effect so something somewhere is wrong and uh, you know that that is why we're probably seeing those uh bollinger bands are squeezing so something big is coming you gotta be prepared for that so on tnx the next stop above this high definitely 50 and now if this thing wants to come down then watch out for the support down here around 47 27 gap right here and then 46.99 five day moving average on this daily chart. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching.